All right, March 18th, 2021, uh, from 8 to 9 p.m., Intermediate 3. Uh, today is uh, class number 12, and we are going to begin Unit 5. So, you know, yeah, only four more classes left. This is already the 12th class on March 18th. Today we're going to be looking at unreal conditional sentences using if clauses and uh, get an idea using them in context. So we're going to be reviewing what are if clauses uh, and what are unconditional sentences.
Hey, hey, Selvin, how are you? Fine, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. It's Thursday. Tomorrow we relax and then we have the weekend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I think so. Mm -hmm. But uh, yesterday I, I had a bad notice because my uncle and uh, diet yesterday. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Selvin. So sorry. Yes, I think that tomorrow I will go to the San Miguel. Yeah, but it's not possible, right? Because is uh, in for the for the COVID, it's not possible to have the funeral. Or yes. Yes, I. Uh, I have a, a five uh, nephew is, is, is primo. No, 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 no. Uh, cousin is primo. Cousin is primo. Oh, cousin. Mm -hmm. cousin. Nephew, nephew uh, is sobrino. Okay. Cousin, uh, they come back to the Salvador from the New Orleans. Ah. Tomorrow. Uh, yes, yes. Um, more or less one p.m. Wow. Ah, so um, then you, you go to the airport to pick them up. Yes, and next, and, and then mm -hmm. uh, I will go to the San Miguel and wait to the funeral. Yes, from the airport you can go through. Um, what is it? Uh, to, to San Vicente, right? You, I, I don't remember the, the street. It is more, it's more easy to get to a highway. Ah, okay. It's easier. Yes, because uh, <clears throat> if I go to the San Salvador, mm -hmm. it is very easy to San Vicente. Mm -hmm. from, uh, by... Uh, Highway, Pan American Highway. Mm -hmm. But if if I go to the airport, it's more easy by Littoral Highway. Okay. At okay. the same time. Okay. Yeah, but I but I imagine the literal uh, th this highway, the the highway by the beach, is not a lot of traffic. Because it's no, not no, 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 it's very easy and very uh, fast because mm -hmm. the highway is, is a line and don't have uh, curves. Oh, really? I thought I thought yes. it was like I thought it was like the one in the Puerto uh, that has a lot of curves when you go to yes, Sonsonate. Yes, uh, oh. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, in the <laughs> when if you go to the Puerto of Liberty, mm -hmm. Liberty and you need go to Santa Ana, the highway is very hot, hot very cool. Yes, but if you go to the airport to La Unión. The highway is very, it's only a, a line. Ah. Yes. And you, when you go to the La Union, mm -hmm. only made a, a one, one return and up to San Miguel. Very easy. Yes. Very. And there are signs uh, to, to San Miguel for the yes. turn. Yes, yes. Then it's easy. Yes, it's very easy. Um, but if you uh, if you go to San Salvador, to San Miguel, uh, it's better take the um, Pan American Highway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's for the distance, the dependent position. Yes, I see. Yes, <laughs> of course. Okay. 
Okay, all right. Well, tomorrow is going to be a busy day for you. You have to go to San Miguel. Yes, yes, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Necessary. I, I will tell goodbye to my uncle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's necessary. Yes. Mar Marcela, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. You're okay, Marcia? Yes, yes, I'm okay. Okay. Very good. Good, good. All right. Hey, Jose, how about you? How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Um, Fine. Phew. Happy is good day. It's, it's amazing. Only four more classes. We finished the course. Tomorrow is the... Is Friday begin the weekend? Yeah. Okay, time is necessary to relax a little bit too, huh? Yeah. Okay, good. Ronald, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm driving to my house. Ah, okay. No problem, no problem. You are driving, only listen. No problem, Ronald. Only listen, it's okay. okay. Laura? Yeah, yeah, I don't want you to have an accident. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Laura. Um, I was, I'm fine. I have a little paint in my hair because my oldest girl paint me for an artwork. And then uh, I, I, um, what else? No sé. <laughs> That's it, no problem, no problem. Just one of those days, huh? No problem. It's just one of those days. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, great, great, because we're gonna be taking a look at discussing um, our plans for the weekend and activities and we're going to be looking at starting unit five okay uh, in the platform and we're going to start off with what are called conditional sentences okay um, does anybody know what conditional sentences are okay well, can, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Selvin. Go ahead, Selvin. No, mister. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, okay. Well, conditional sentences, we can think of, of it in an easy way, like um, you, we can have it like the idea for cause and effect, okay? So the cause, if, okay, something happens, then the other thing is going to happen, okay? So as an example, um, let's think about money. Money is usually the easiest way, okay? So what happens, uh, Laura, what happens if today you found $1,000? Oh, come on. Every what day. Every day, Laura. It's every day. Don't ask me, don't ask me those things, please. <laughs> What do you do, Laura? Do you go shopping? Do you pay bills? Do you buy your daughter presents? What, what do you do? You get a new cell phone? Save the money? What? Tell me, tell me. No, well, first I would change my my car. I really need to change my car. He's like 30 years old. <laughs> 30 years old. Uh-huh. So I need to change it. Okay. And I'm going to find them. Every day, right? <laughs> that would be nice, right? That would be nice. <laughs> uh -huh. But it, what have you found today? Today you found today, one thousand. Yeah. One thousand. Um. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe I could uh, pay some some debts, and the other part I can use it just to have fun and don't think about money. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. That's the best. All right. What about you, Selvin? Do you find today 
you found one thousand dollars what do you do one thousand one thousand yeah i i i think that uh, really uh, save the money uh -huh, so and then, then i used to uh, uh, a trip uh, when the coronavirus low <laughs> <laughs> Yes. To where? To Roatan, yes. Costa Rica. No, no, where? no. I, I think that I go to the Disney World. Hey, hey, Mickey Mouse. All right. Yes, I I was to Disney World the last two years. Um, my family have a good day this day. Okay. All right. Yeah, Disney World is nice. It's beautiful. It's big. Yes, it's beautiful and very, very expensive, but huh. very expensive. But it's okay. I, the money is free. Go two days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the money is free, da. Yes. And <clears throat> I remember that I spent about seven, 7000 so much so much money yes yes because i have four children mm. and they two parts yeah that's what happens when you have too many children yes mm -hmm. yes but but what? i they remember this day that is a good 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 day yeah yeah, yeah, it's true. Yes. It's true. All right. Well, this is the idea. Exactly what Laura and Selvin are doing. That's what we considered conditional sentences. We talk about situations. In this case, I gave the situation with money. We started with the sentence, okay? So the idea is, for example, Selvin and Laura said, if I found, okay, $1,000, okay, and that's how they begin. If I found 1,000. And then we use I, I would and then, okay, whatever their answer is. In the case of Laura, she said I would uh, change my car if I remember correctly, right? Um, and in the case of Selvin, he said I would uh, take a trip, okay? So, if we are looking at conditional sentences, you can see in the chat to give yourself an idea. In the chat in the class, um, I'm writing to help you out. So we start off with the if. And the if part is the part that we're going to focus on first because that's the condition, right? That's why it's called conditionals. Is necessary for this to happen for the, uh, the second part to happen. The second part is the consequence, right? Or we think about it like, the, the effect. So the cause, what starts it is the money, if you find it. And then what happens next, that's the effect. So it's the second part is always, we're using it like with, I would um, change my car. I would take a trip. Or Laura said, I could, I could pay debt and I could spend money and not think about it, um, which is great. That's a great feeling. Mm. Who cares? Don't worry, do what you have to do and that's it. All right, so today that's going to be our focus to start off. This is from section 5.1, right? This is 5.1 in the platform, and we're going to be watching or we're going to start with a video. And after the video, if there are any questions, I'll explain it and make sure that it's clear. But that's the idea for today's focus, conditional sentences. You ready? All right, let's watch this video, see what we can learn. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. 
If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. All right. So, in our first part in the conversation, we're looking at, and it's easy to understand how we can use conditional sentences. It's not real information. It's only imagining. We are using our imagination. We are thinking. We have possibilities. We have uh, things that we wish could happen, right? And that's why we see we can use positive or negative. Because the woman, Pat, she says, if I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. So it's also possible to do something in the negative, right? If you find this, you don't do this. Or if you do this, you won't do the next thing. And we can see that she continues her conditional sentences after the man, Phil, asks, what would you do? And she says, I would, this is the contraction, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. Okay. So here's, we're getting a good idea. Now we're going to listen to the next part of the conversation and see what happens. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay. So we're looking at what the different situations. In this case, in the second part of the conversation, what would the man do? What would, what would Phil do if he found $750,000? He would go straight to the police? Correct, that's what he says. He would go straight to the police. And why, Laura? Why does he say, I? I would go straight to the police. Because um, honesty pays. <laughs> yeah, he says he's an honest person. He's an honest person. Uh -huh. mm, I don't know. Um, because $750,000 not only changes your life, it changes your family's life in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador, this is is really a new life. Is is you have a you have a whole new life. Okay, so let's take a moment and let's discuss with our partners. What would happen if you found all of this money? What would you do? Not $1,000, $750,000. Money. It's money, Selvin. This is money. It's much money. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this, is, this is a lot of money. This is one, you know, 100 times to Disney World. No problem. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's, it's much money. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So tell me, what would you do? Uh, I do the, I call the police because I, it's very difficult to uh, explain how about this morning in my in my in my <laughs> account. Okay. Very difficult. And the rent is out. Is oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Sabine says he would call the police because it is it's too difficult, right? It's too difficult, too, too much difficult. money. This, this yes. is okay. All right. All right. But one one thousand is very easy. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's mm -hmm. easy. You you spend yes, it's very easy. You yes. spend Friday and Saturday, boom. Yeah. Only, yeah. only go to the supermarket here in El Salvador, and that's it. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. All right. Let's see the other opinions. Uh huh. Ronald, what would? Oh no, no. Ronald's driving. Ronald's driving. Forget, forget. I almost forgot. Don't worry, Ronald. You keep driving. Marce. Marcela. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's go Marcella. with Marcela. It's ready. Ready yeah, to Mar go. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. If I found this money, I. I, I will go to the police too. Yeah. Ay, Marce, you and Selvin. <laughs> Marce, Marce, why? Why would you go to the police? <laughs> because it's a lot of money. And, and, and that don't appear for magic. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. That's, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Okay, Marcin. All right. Jose, come on. I know you. What would you do with seven if you found seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, Jose? Uh, depends. Depends. If, because the of the situation, right? I really need that money. I spend that money on things at the house, right? If I don't need to do that, I spend that money, travel, or buy things. Okay, so you would Many spend things. you would spend that money uh, on the house uh, and buying new things. Yes, basically yes. Okay, all right. Like if, if I if I have money, I would like to to go to. Sub city, something like that, right? What city? Sub city. Okay. Ah, look at you. Look at. Try to make more money, huh? <laughs> Go to it's the. Different. It's different when you want the the money, right? Mhm. Mm like in the lotting. Yes. Yeah. In this case, I I will buy a house, for example. And I go on a trip with my family. Okay. Okay. But if you found it, no, it's too dangerous, huh? No, yeah. It's other other way. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes, Elvin. Have you ever won a prize, a big prize? Um so so. More How or less, uh, twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. But it's not my money; it's my girlfriend's money. But I spent it. I bought a new car. <laughs> 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 well, not my girlfriend. My ex. My ex girlfriend. And she. It won. It won any time. One. One. Thousand seven. No, one thousand seven. No, one thousand seven. Sorry, one thousand seven hundred dollars. In in the lottery, Selvin. Uh, play in a machine. Ah, like in the casino. Yes. The ch -ch -ch -ch. Yes, yes. With only seven five cent. Oh, nice, Elvin. Nice. Yes. You say, ha! Ah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, what about you, Laura? What would you do? If I want it? No, if you found it. If you I say found, found it. it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a lot of money. Eh. If I think I would, finger? I would call the police. No, I think, mm -hmm. huh? 
I go ahead, Laura. Go I ahead. Think I, would, I think I would call the police, but if if I if I can dream, <laughs> I would say if I find the, the money, I uh, well first I pay all my debts so I, I can rest uh, without any any care. worries. Uh huh. Uh, and then is the I would change my car. <laughs> then I would take a, trip, a family trip. And the rest of it, I'm going to leave it at the bank. So nobody like, the, uh, or maybe I would have it under my, my, my bed. <laughs> I wouldn't put it on the bank because they're going to be like, ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. And it's possible. Laura, I, I have a great a great idea. If you put the, the money on the bank deposit and then you wait two or three years and then you call the police. But but the bank is gonna ask me where did the money came from because they know that I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, okay. See, so yeah, that you're right, you you're have right. to be very mm -hmm. careful. I, I, I only I have a good idea, but uh, I need, uh, I wait you change your car. <laughs> I'll see. There. I want to change my car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's possible in El Salvador, it's possible. I don't know if you remember. A few years ago, they found a few barilitos in yes, Lourdes. Yes, I remember that. You remember the barilitos? And yes. the barilitos were in the house, in the, in the yard. In the, they, go, they went to the house, and they found one, and then they went to another, and they found another. So you never know. Depend who lived in 17, your house before. I remember 17, 17 million dollars. Yeah, it was million. I don't remember how much exactly, but I remember it was millions and millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think well, one barilito, it's okay. I don't need 750. <laughs> okay. One barilito. One barilito, one barilito. it's okay. <laughs> and for I, me also. And I pay pupusas for everyone. All my, all my <laughs> free, free pupusas. <laughs> but from the planet. From the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, now we have a good idea. We're getting the concept of conditionals. Let's go to part two of the conditionals. So here we have a little bit more information, okay? Here is 5.3 on real conditionals, okay? Here's some more information about the topic. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but 
you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay, so let me go back just a little bit. Would, could, or might, plus verb in simple. Okay, so part here is, and it's probably going to affect you in the platform. So this is why I'm going to uh, explain it one more time. When you write a sentence in the conditional and you start with if, it's an obligation to have a comma after the first part. If you start the sentence with I or he or some other pronoun, there is no comma. So that means that if, you know, well, when you use if at the beginning is necessary a comma, and if you use it at the end, then it's not necessary. That's the biggest idea with the punctuation. As you can see, it's not only would we mentioned earlier, a few of them, we use would or could, or let me see, where's the, there we go. Uh, we use the uh, would or could or might, or even in the negative, right, or wouldn't. So it's not only one form that you can use it. It's only different possibilities that you, that you have. I would is this is your decision. I could, this is an option. I might is you are not sure, right? And I wouldn't is you decide that this is not an option. It's so is um, our conditional sentences, are you getting the idea? Is it okay? Teacher, teacher I have a, a question before I want to know if, uh, if I realize in, in here where I there are four basically conditional forms where here in India, and if I need to say just if, if I and I need to use present, no sé cuál si progresivo, if I, the, 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 the basic example is this, if I go to a supermarket with my, with my mom, I would like to buy something like that. I don't know if that's perfect, teacher. No, it's not, Jose. It's, it's almost correct. The You don't use the participle. You only use the past tense. So no, if I gone to the supermarket, it's if I went to the supermarket. It's the same for any verb. If I, not if I uh, maybe eat. If I ate, uh, you know, ravioli or if I ate lasagna, I would be sick, for example. So there are actually many, many different types of conditional sentences. There are different levels. There is what they call conditional sentence zero, one, two, three, and four. The one that we are seeing today specifically is conditional sentences number two. This is the idea that is imagining. That's the, that's the, the yeah, that we are imagining the situation. It's not a real situation. They're considered unreal. Now, the one that you say, Jose, is similar to the third conditional. This is where we use, if I had gone to the supermarket, but this is not for now, this is for in the past. And that is the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. So if you say, if I went to the supermarket is now, even if the verb is in the past, but the idea is now, you're using the imagination now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else has any other questions? No? All right. 
Well, let me show you a little bit of what we're going to do and how we're going to work. Well, we are looking at conditional sentences. We've seen both videos and practiced a little bit. Now we're going to practice a little bit more. You can see we're on 5.4, knowledge check. So knowledge check, 5.4. And we have many different expressions. These are conversations. If you see, number one is person A and then person B. Number two, person A and person B. The same for number three and the same for number four. So it's not only a sentence. No, they're like a small conversations. So with your partners, 5.4. 5.4, you're going to try to do, you're going to do together. Now, it's okay if you have problems with connection or internet or sharing the screen, it's not, it's no problem because the important is that we practice it. So how are we going to practice it? We're going to create our questions. Now, how do we create the questions? In the chat, I'm putting it for you right now. And so we would ask a question, what would you do, okay? And then we put in the word if, okay? Since we're gonna ask our partners, if you, and then remember the verb is going to be in the past tense, okay? So I can make any question. So I say, hey, Laura, what would you do if tomorrow you didn't have to work, okay? Or Selvin, what would you do if, um, you know, if, uh, your your boss gave you a promotion okay or what would you do if you uh, you had the opportunity to go on a trip okay it doesn't matter so we're going to do two things one we're going to complete exercise 5.4 okay that's 5.4 in the platform when you finish 5.4 then it's time to practice the overall and create ask questions and answer and we're going to answer questions completely. So we're going to say, if I got a promotion, if I uh, had the opportunity to travel, the idea is we want to make the complete sentence so we memorize how to make a conditional sentence, not only how to answer a question. Are we okay? Yeah. Ronald, are you at home or no? If you are not at home, don't worry, don't answer. Okay, so Ronald is still driving. All right. You see how we communicate? Even without answering, we understand each other. <laughs> That's how we go. Hey, Marcia disappeared. I don't know what happened with Marcia. Maybe problem with the internet then, right? So before we go to our groups, or let's try, um, let's each person give me one example of conditionals. Five, all right, no problem, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. I understand, I understand. You're going to be home in five minutes, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I got it, I got it, it's okay. It's the traffic, I know, I know, it's the traffic. So I ask, for example, Sylvain, what would you do if there were no traffic in El Salvador? Repeat, please. What would you do if there, sorry, if there wasn't any traffic in El Salvador? Oh, uh, I would uh, go to my work in bicycle. Ah, nice, nice. Okay, good. Selvin, ask Laura. Oh, Laura, what would you do if you had much uh, gas by your car? Um, I would, I would. I would travel all over El Salvador if I if I had more gas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Laura would be like a taxi for free, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, 
I think so. She said, uh, I work to. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uber. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Laura, ask Jose. Ah, hey, Ronald. You are home. Yeah. What What the question? Ah, the questions are? The... Laura, Laura has a question. Laura has a question. Laura is going to ask you. Uh, Ronald, if you... If you won the lottery, what would you do? Oh, the first things what what I would do is um, it's pay my debts, pay my debts. Ah, <laughs> the debts. <laughs> yeah, I think this yeah. is the, the typical Salvadorian, right? <laughs> Number one, <laughs> pay the debts and then sleep. Ah, yeah, good. Yeah, is is the first the first thing? <laughs> yes. Um. Um, I don't know. But okay. Okay. Well, thanks. Well, this is exactly what you're going to practice. So we're going to complete 5.4 in the platform. And then when you finish, then just like this, ask, answer. It's a conversation. It's not, a, it's not an exercise. It's only fluency practice. Remember, it's not only What's your name? My name is, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you, no, it's, it's, you are not a robot. This is relax, practice, get fluent, get normal, feel comfortable with the language. All right, let's make our groups and let's try to do the practice that we can. All right, Marce, I hope you can connect. Let's try it. Ronald can share the, the screen because I have all, all the sentences completed. Um, I'm in my cell phone. I can share my screen right now. If you can. Okay. I'll then, share the screen. Okay, no, or, or then only practice speaking, asking and answering the questions and then the people can do at home, that way okay. they, they practice. Mm -hmm. So okay. the first one is, um, if you have three months to travel, where would you go? If I have three months? If travel. you have three, if you, if you had three months to travel, where would you go? Oh, um, uh, uh, I I like uh, Israel and the all the 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 the, the places in where there. Where uh, in where uh, uh, Joshua, Joshua, um, where, where was in where Joshua was walking in two thousand millions years ago. Only Israel and Medio Oriente. <laughs> the Middle East. What? Uh, huh? The Middle East. Yeah. Middle East. Mm -hmm. 
only three months in that area, in the area. <laughs> visit to visit to visit to visit different places in, in, in that area that, are, that I like. That, that is the, if I, if I have, if I have the opportunity, that is my, my best place for, for to visit. Yeah. And okay. in Marcela, the same I will. Yeah. Okay. I will take in take in with me and through throw or prone. Pose is a key. Pose. Pose. Through. Throw. Okay. Check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the first one is done. Done, okay. Done. Oh, yeah. Second, taking. Sale, sale. Taken, taken, it's taken. Okay. Done. Okay. Done. Oh, it's done. Apply mm -hmm. the first one. The first oh. One. Oh, tall. 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 Is tall. Yes, it's tall. Yes, it's tall. Yes, it's tall. Yes, it's tall. Yes, through. So. Uh, strong. Yes. Strong. Strong. Teacher, this answer is, is bad. Right? No? And I would have taken it with me and thrown it away later with N. Yes. Yes, yes, with N. Okay, check. Don't worry, slow internet is no problem. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it's, the internet is the biggest obstacle today. Today, the Tigo uh, check my in my connection in my house. Um, what did they say? Okay, they that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yes. see, Jose is correct. Yes. Uh huh. All right. Now you practice with Jose only. Remember asking and answering questions. What would you, or if you, if you did this or different. So now you practice the conditional sentences. Okay. That um, sports is my favorite sport, and, and, and my doctor tell me that that I need uh, to do exercises. Um, I, I, I will do that, that, that sports, specific sport. And you, Laura? Um, if my doctor, it, I'm not sure, but I might, I might go Laura, swimming. Laura likes dance, right? I like, I love to dance. But right now it's so hot that I wouldn't mind being on us on a pool. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, next question. Um, what together? Uh huh. Together, playing in a in a pool, right? Yeah, <laughs> swimming. What okay. pool? Any pool. <laughs> in the, I am now in. In the Mexico Gonzalez pool. <laughs> yes, in Flor Blanca, right? Flor Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> Where there, there are... <laughs> oh, 
estaba en el polvorín. Polvorín en San Jacinto. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that pool is specific for, for uh, sport. For sport. Uh, it, it have 20, 20, 20 meters of large. It's, it's regulatory or uh, mandatory. Uh, I don't know what is the medition that's the two pools. Okay. To give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. Okay. Example, other example, what would you do if I? On the statement, what would you have done? What should I have done? Just say in Spanish. Hecho, verdad? Yo lo debería de haber hecho, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. They asked me, Martin, you should have told, told them about it. About it. Yes. I would have helped. Because yesterday I would have sent an email. What would you what what would you have done? What would you? What would you do? What would hmm. you do if you wonder not wonder? Oh, I don't remember. Pass, pass. That's correct, Jose. One. Jose? Yes. Repeat, please. Uh, I don't what know. would you do? What, what, what would you, what would you do? If you won the lottery. Lottery. <laughs> Teacher, uh, is correct say what might you do? Um, it's correct, but it's not normal because the normal is oh. what, what you normally use. What would you do? What should you do? Or okay. Uh huh. Teacher, and when we we when we ask where with the mothers that we might would and could, uh, we always need to put it. It might it would but in the ask I mm -hmm. might send an email. I might go to there. I yeah. Do, it could. It's normal. Yes, Jose, it's normal. It's normal to say I might or I could, uh, whatever. I, I, I could go, I could, uh, I don't know, I could go to the beach or I might go to the beach or. I, I, I asked you, teacher, I asked you, I asked you, teacher, because you say a few minutes ago, like, that it might is more like a situation. And who no. is more uh, probably right? Vice versa, I am wrong. Correct. What is what your what your decision is? This, would it, this is would. I would is my decision. Might is a possibility. 
It's like maybe. And should is the recommendation. What do you say at the beginning of the walk? Would is the decision. Should is a recommendation. And might is the possibility. Okay. Okay. Is because I, I, I can't write. That's right. I think of the education is good possibility. Could is the positive, exactly. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back and let's see. Selvin, any questions? No. Okay. So if there are no questions, please remember that to work in the platform, hang on, let me see, we're missing a couple of people here. We'll get everybody first. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So uh, it's, it's time for us to stop, but remember to work in the platform if you haven't completed, you should be completed uh, already with the four, unit one, two, three, four, and the uh, unit three midterm. Because remember next week, um, we only have four days of class and we have to finish the platform by Wednesday. Okay. Okay, so have a great weekend and I see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye.